Walking McKinley Avenue neighborhood. Hey everybody, I'm here at the laundry mat doing laundry. Yeah, what I do is uh, I start the laundry and then I go for my walks. So I'm here at the gas station which has a laundry mat and I start my laundry and then go for a walk. Yeah, there was somebody in there so I couldn't speak too loud but I put my clothes in the washer inside the laundry mat and then I go for a walk. So let's go for a walk. Yeah, it's, uh, right now it's about 6.30 right now. It's very early. I came to my favorite laundry mat here in Tacoma. It's not that far from my house. And uh, to do my laundry. Yeah. I still don't have a washer at my house. I have dryer, but no washer. But uh, I feel that uh, I'm using a lot less water since uh, I've been doing laundry at the laundry mat versus uh, actually doing it at home. So <clears throat> maybe I won't get washer until I really, really have to. But this is uh, McKinley Avenue, uh, and uh, this is 56. That light right there, I don't know if you guys can see the light or not, that's 56, so that's where I am. There's a gas station right there. They have a fast food Japanese restaurant, and they have a laundry man in the same location. So I come over here to do my laundry. It's uh, most quiet and they open very early. Plus, uh, they uh, have hardly nobody doing laundry there super early. During uh, the weekend and the evenings, I do hear that uh, they do have a lot of people doing laundry there. But uh, I put the uh, clothes in right now. I have uh, 23 minutes to go and then I'm gonna walk down for a while and come back and then put the clothes in the dryer and then uh, walk some more and then come back and fold my clothes. It's a good thing for me because uh, this neighborhood is very quiet. And you know how I'm really particular about sidewalks, right? This neighborhood has sidewalks everywhere so I can easily walk and do my uh, daily walk on top of uh, doing my laundry so it's good so I'm doing laundry about twice a week you know when I used to have uh, the washer at home I was doing laundry about I don't know every couple days using a lot of water this now I, I collect all the dirty laundry in the hamper and then do the laundry you know like every other Saturday so it's okay I do have a lot of clothes so I can collect these so you see that light over there I don't know if you guys can see it let me zoom in yeah I don't know, it's kind of blurry. But uh, there's a light right there. I'm gonna go past that light a little bit to the church and then turn around and come back. There should be just enough time to uh, change my clothes from washer to dryer. And then after that, then I'll go the opposite direction all the way down to uh, 64th and then come back which is very good. Yeah, today I cannot really tell uh, if it's going to be uh, sunny, good weather or not, because uh, it hasn't burned off yet, right? I don't think the sun has 100% uh, risen yet. I don't know what time the sun rises. Yesterday was uh, past seven o'clock. Right now it's... Uh, somewhere around 708 so maybe a uh, sun has come up but uh, because uh, there's a haze over 
over the sky, so that's why maybe we cannot see the sun. Yeah, as you can see, there are some, some cars, but not enough to uh, make it too noisy. And also, even there's a lots of cars, it's not dangerous because they have sidewalk. So it's a good place to come and walk. And once again today, it's not cold at all. Yesterday, by the way, was 80 degrees. Can you imagine? We're in October. We had 80 degree weather yesterday. Crazy. I'm, I'm not really sure what the uh, weather is going to be today, but I'm sure it's going to be similar to yesterday's weather. It's very quiet over here. I don't think a few cars going by. After this, what I'm going to do is uh, go downtown Tacoma if the weather is good and walk around there. If the weather is not good, then I'll go ahead and go back home, but, but I'll see. See, I'm not really sure what this is. It says uh, Holiness Association Camp, but I'm not really sure. I don't ever see anybody there. I guess it, some people have a place to go. Ooh, look, this guy don't have his lights on. That's kind of dangerous. He should have his lights on. Yeah, there's not that many places I can do this uh, walking because number one, Maybe it's too busy. Number two, uh, they might not have a sidewalk. Number three, people don't like uh, strangers coming into their neighborhood. No matter who you are, because they don't know you, right? Uh, and it is very, very good to uh, walk in the morning, start your day, fresh makes everything feel so much better but since I'm already over here in Tacoma you know if the weather is good might as well go to downtown if weather's good I'm not sure if the weather is going to be good or not I cannot really tell let me show you see you cannot really see the sky Kind of like this uh, haze it's not fog it's just a haze so yeah I'm not stopping at this light I'm gonna go to the next light there or well, maybe maybe it's not next night maybe next street Yeah, it looks like it's going to be next street, not next light. Because the next light is <clears throat> really far away. Because I have to have time to come back too, right? I don't want clothes to sit in the washer for too long. Hey, look. They got Halloween decorations I don't know some people get into that stuff you know Halloween Thanksgiving 
you know, 4th of July, Christmas, they decorate their house. It's a lot of work. You cannot be a lazy person and uh, do the uh, decorating the house. Oh, they also have Halloween decoration. Oh, pretty nice. Somebody. Oh, I thought somebody coming this way, but somebody's going the same direction as I am. But I'm almost done now. I'm going to turn around and come back to the laundry mat because I like to uh, take the clothes out eh? as soon as uh, the drum stops. I don't. I don't like to wait uh, until it stops by itself and then sit in there for a few minutes no i don't like that i like it taken out immediately all right yeah here's my uh turnaround point right here see there's the church right there this is one huge church they have two buildings they have like a community center and then they have the uh, altar over there all right let's uh, turn around and go back yeah whenever i come to uh, do my laundry this is what i do so that i don't waste time just sitting around waiting for washer to finish right Yeah, this morning it's not even a little bit cold you know usually in the morning you know sometimes it's a little ch chilly but it's not like that it's a uh, very good comfortable weather and I am wearing a vest so I'm not wearing a long sleep sleeve but I am wearing a vest all right guys I'm gonna walk back and uh, once I go back, I'll turn around and let you know what's the status of my doing laundry and doing my daily walk. Yeah, I wanted to show you uh, this one house. I have lots of Halloween decoration. See this house right here? They have uh, skeletons, ghosts, some spider. They get the web all designed up. Yeah. Yeah, I am almost back to the laundry mat. So I'm gonna go check if uh, clothes is done in the washer. Yeah, I came back just in time. Look, I only have one minute left. I'm gonna transfer these clothes from washer to these dryers over here. Yeah, I have to start the uh, dryer. Now everything's getting dry right now. So I'm gonna go out and uh, do some more walking. Yeah, I have uh, loaded my clothes to the dryer, so I'm gonna walk the opposite direction and then come back. I just wanted to show you something. The gas the other day was almost uh, $5. Now, cash is down to $4.29. The credit is down to $4.39, so it's really good. I'm gonna have to uh, go and get some gas on my other car wait 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 yeah you have to wait. watch out for a uh, crosswalk signal you, know? you kind of just cross whenever you want to I guess I can cross them now there's nobody here there's nobody there oh yeah by the way there's a 7-Eleven right here, but uh, I'm over at the other place where it's got gas station and a laundry man and fast food Japanese restaurant. And all I'm doing is going all the way down to that light right over there and then come back. That should be uh, enough time. But I'm going to try to do it even faster right now. 
but usually I do a casual walking, but right now I'm gonna speed it up. So earlier, I went down that way. Now I'm going this way. And I come back to the laundry mat to fold my clothes. See, that way you don't waste any time just sitting in your car or anything like that. You can go and uh, get some exercise while you're doing your laundry. The other places that uh, I can go, it's not as easy to do this. So I like coming over here. It is a little bit farther, but well, number one, their machines are very clean. Uh, the place is very clean and also it's reasonable price. Well, today I had a lot more clothes, so it cost me uh, to do the uh, wash. It cost me 350 and dry. It cost me, uh, I believe it was 125 Not that bad. But normally, when I don't have that much clothes, I can do the washing at 250. So today was one more dollar, but it's okay. Yeah, let's see if we can walk even faster. Yeah, I'm still on McKinley Avenue. Just that uh, the laundry mat's on 56, and I'm going to 64, and then turn around and come back. Feels like there's more cars now. Right now it's uh, 7.35, so more and more people waking up. Some people have to get to work. I don't know, some people have to go to church. Some people going out to do their uh, side gig way down there by uh, 72nd and um, uh, Portland Avenue. There is a uh, some kind of swamp meet going on over there on the parking lot on the weekends. So some people go over there to make extra money. I'm about halfway to the light. I think maybe even go faster. Let me try. It'd be much better if I can go faster. Yeah, around here, there are some businesses, they do uh, automotive repair. Over here, they make cabinets. A long time ago, this used to be a place where they make like carnival tickets or something, or wristbands or something. But they've changed it to uh, making cabinets. The name didn't really change though. The name is still the same, Founder's Choice, but now they're making cabinets instead of uh, making wristbands for like events, like festivals and whatnot. All right. Yeah, see right there. This uh, Founder's Choice cabinetry. All they did was uh, paint that sign right there. They used to have a different sign. Oh, they're having some kind of barbecue. 
Founders Choice Barbecue. I guess they're trying to do a fundraising. Uh, as you can see, just a normal neighborhood. At the corner, there's a grocery store. And then on, on the other corner also is a, another grocery store with a gas station. Yeah, almost uh, every corner, I believe. Every, every major corner, there is some kind of business. And right here, I believe this place is still open. It's a bar and grill. I'm not sure. I've never been to it. I only, you know, drive by it, right? So I don't live in this neighborhood. I, I guess you could say I live in the 112th Street neighborhood. This is uh, only uh, 64. That light right there. But uh, there's something awesome that I'm gonna show you. Somebody painted this a mural. It was totally awesome. Yeah, looks like they're open. I see the uh, beer lights. I guess they don't turn off that beer light or the main light. Yeah, there's a dog barking. That's what you're hearing right now. Oh, I guess there's some other business right there. There's a Hispanic uh, bakery over there on the left. And then over here on the right, there is a Mexican restaurant. And I believe there might be another bar and grill. There, there might be, not 100% sure. Yeah, I usually don't uh, look around to see if they have or not. Oh yeah, right here. This is a Mexican restaurant, but the sign is broken. And I believe that right there might be a bar and grill. This is a tattoo place. And this is a mural that I was talking about. Someone painted this. Let me take a snapshot. Pretty nice, right? Yeah, it's a pretty nice uh, mural. And as I, I said, uh, there's a convenience store right there on the left. And then there's another one on the right, I believe. Oh, this is not a bar and grill, it's a Colombian restaurant. Yeah, see, here's a gas station and a grocery store on this side. See you in the next video.